Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Jess, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be opening up some mystery packages that just randomly showed up at my doorstep. I'm not kidding, I got a ring at the doorbell, I go to open the door and there is a mountain of packages on my doormat and I was not expecting any packages and so I was like, this has got to be a mistake. So I looked at the address on every single one of the packages and they were all addressed to me and they were all from Shein. Now I of course have worked with Shein in the past and so they have sent me things so that's how they have my address. I just didn't expect any of these packages to arrive and I don't have the slightest clue what could be in them. So I thought it would be a fun idea for me to film me opening up these packages so that you and me could be surprised together and so that we can go on this little adventure together and opening all these mystery packages. So if you do wanna see what's inside of these packages, then keep on watching. So here are all the packages. There are six in total and we're just gonna be going through each one. So this is the first package. It doesn't feel very heavy. It actually feels pretty lightweight. And I got my handy dandy cloud box cutter and let's open her up. First and foremost, the state of this box is an absolute shambles. So this appears to be some sort of toy because it says the best welcome gifts for the children. Why on earth they would send me a kid's toy? I have absolutely no idea. It's a toy washer. I am so confused and have no other words. So let's just move on. Let's cross our fingers and hope that package number two isn't also a toy. A bubbler, they sent me a bubbler. What on earth am I going to do with a bubbler? I mean, it is really cute. I just have zero use for this. So this is what the inside of it looks like in case you were wondering. We're not off to a good start here. Next, we have this paper thin envelope. I cannot even imagine what is in here. So let's find out. Two makeup brushes. At least I have a use for these. I don't own any brushes like this and I actually really like the shape of them. I feel like they would make for a really great nose contour brush. Maybe even a little bit of highlight on the cheek. I could definitely see myself using these. Here we have another really flat package. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so these are Christmas theme press on nails. It looks like the nails kind of got jumbled around. So I'm gonna open it up and see all the designs. The designs that are included are these that have like gold speckles on them. These that have reindeer, these plain ones, the Santa Claus and the snowflakes. There aren't a whole lot of sizes in this set, which is the one con that I'm noticing, but the designs are pretty cute. It did come with a nail file and this 24 piece nail glue stickers which you can use to apply the nails, but if you want them to last a little longer, I would recommend using nail glue. All right, this wasn't too bad. Now those two items weren't that bad. Let's hope that the rest continue to get better. Next up, we have this package, which is the biggest package of them all. Okay, so there are five items inside of this package. So the first item are these pimple patches. These say that they have tea tree oil, which I do know tea tree oil is really good for treating acne. So let's hope that these actually work because I can always use some extra pimple patches. These pimple stickers are really cute. They're heart-shaped and they're holographic. Looks like we have another skincare item. These are charcoal nose strips. I used to be obsessed with nose strips as a teenager. I remember I would ask my mom if she could take me to the store to go buy the Biore ones. Like this video if you remember the Biore nose strips. Those used to be the shit and I loved just peeling it off and seeing all the gunk that came off my nose. It was so satisfying. So this box comes with 10 nose strips and they're all individually packaged. This is an avocado color changing lip care. I'm really intrigued by the color changing lip care of it all. So this is the packaging. It's like a cute little green ombre tube. I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand just to see how it feels. Okay, that's interesting. I swatched it and it's coming off pink. So I guess that's what it means by color changing because when you look at the tube, it's green, but when I swatched it, it's pink and you can see some of the pink along the edge here. So I am wearing lip liner and lipstick right now, but I am just gonna apply a little bit of this on top to see how it feels. This glid onto my lips so nicely and the texture reminds me of a hydrating lip balm. So I do really like how it feels. I'm curious to know what it looks like on its own though. I'll definitely have to try this out another time. All right, let's move on to the next item that was inside of that package. This is another item from the brand Slow Sunday, which is the same brand of all the products that were included in this one package. So this here is their fruit hand cream set. So this one here is a peach scented hand cream. This one is a mango scented hand cream. And then this one is a coconut scented hand cream. I feel like this would make a really great gift set. So for that reason, I'm not gonna open it up and I'm gonna keep it in the package. And now let's open up the final item that was inside of that package. A Marilyn Monroe cosmetic bag. How about that? I had no idea that they sold Marilyn Monroe themed stuff on Shein, but that's cool. We love Marilyn, she's an icon, she's a legend. So this is the bag, it has her silhouette here on the front of her in that iconic white dress. If you know this image, then you know Miss Marilyn. And on the inside, it just says Marilyn Monroe. But I do like that the front is clear so that way you can see like what all is in your bag. And then the back of it looks like this. It has a patent leather 
Fabrics like this are super, super easy to clean. So I do like that about the texture of the bag. And it's also a pretty decently sized bag as well. I just noticed that it has this little pearl detail right here. That's really cute. We are down to the last package and this one is also really thin. Okay, so in the last package was another set of press-on nails. These are longer and they're also all over the place. So I'm gonna open them up and reorganize them really fast. This set also came with nail glue stickers and a mini nail file. The shape of these is definitely more dramatic. Now I'm curious to know which press-on nail set do you like better? Do you like the long coffin shaped ones or do you like the smaller ones? Comment it down below and let me know. And that you guys is all the items that were inside of those mystery Shein packages. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I was definitely taken aback with those first two packages. I was like, what the heck is this? Why are they sending me children's toys? It just doesn't make sense at all. I don't know if that was a mistake. Maybe they sent me those by mistake because the rest of the stuff was beauty related, which kind of aligns with like the kind of content that I create. So it makes sense that it was makeup and skin skincare and like nails and stuff but those first two were a little scary not gonna lie well alrighty guys that is it for today if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification that way you are notified every time I upload a brand new video thank you so much for watching I appreciate you so so much and I'll see you next time bye